Let us help you. In the medieval fantasy world created by George R. R. Martin, the Targaryen dynasty has more mysteries around it than all the other clans put together. From their unchecked insanity to their strange habits and rituals, from their ability to control dragons to their sickening inbreeding tendencies, the dynasty is both loved and hated by the fans. In this video, we bring you another twisted Targaryen secret that has left many confused. The event of complicated childbirth, where the mother delivers a monstrosity. Before we go into our explanation, we have a very small request. If you like the content, please support us by subscribing to our channel. This is a small click for you, but for us, it means a lot. Thank you, and let's begin. Screaming. <laughs> House of the Dragon left out a crucial detail. Rhaenyra's monstrous baby. House of the Dragon brings you some childbirth sequences that are bound to make you squirm in your seats. One of these gruesome moments can be observed in episode where Rhaenyra goes through a complicated labor. Eventually, she gives birth to a stillborn baby, but the show sidesteps the crucial details from the books. In Fire and Blood, George R. R. Martin paints a vivid picture through his words and makes it pretty clear that Rhaenyra gave birth to a deformed monstrosity a baby with a stubby scaled tail. Those who are familiar with the books are aware of such events being a common phenomenon in the Targaryen family. These babies are termed as dragon babies by the book lovers and it seems like the gods indeed flip a coin when a Targaryen is born. You can pick up on another fun throwback where Rhaenyra's mother the queen was going through a difficult pregnancy. She made a jovial remark that with all her troubles, she wouldn't be surprised if she gave birth to an actual dragon. As it turns out, her sarcastic statement had more truth in it than she would know. <laughs> History of Dragon Mutant Babies, The Curious Case of Daenerys Targaryen Remember when Game of Thrones used to be one hell of a show? So back in those golden days when Daenerys was waiting for the birth of her baby, something terrible happened that changed her story arc completely. The blood magic of Miri Maz Dur ensured that Khal Drogo's injuries pushed him to his death, but something remarkable happened with the unborn child of Daenerys. When she went into labor, she delivered a stillborn baby who was born as a scaly abomination. It was half human and half dragon, and why that happened remains a mystery. Miri suggested that the baby had been dead for years, which in all practicality means that the life force of the baby was replaced by something else. The sequence of tragedies also allowed the dragon eggs to hatch, the same eggs that had remained in fossilized form for years. How did this miracle happen? Well, some theories seem to suggest that the life force of the baby powered the dragons, and they were actually Daenerys' babies in the literal sense of the term. If you find logic in this theory, then you will probably agree that Targaryens can give birth to dragon babies indirectly, even though this particular instance was not a voluntary decision. Get off! Get off! Get off! Ow. Ow. Why did the Targaryens give birth to these half-dragon, half-human babies? As you can imagine, such a strange phenomenon that, too, on a regular basis made the fans curious about the possible causes. One of the main reasons seems to be rooted in the origins of the Targaryens. They are often overheard talking about how they have the blood of the dragons in their bodies, and the claims are not just tall metaphors. The ones familiar with George R. R. Martin's fantasy world will know that the dragons have an interesting origin story. The Valerians used to claim that they descended from dragons, but the actual truth might be somewhere in between. It is likely that the first dragons were created with some element of dark magic and the ritual somehow combined human blood or introduced these medical life forms from human blood. Thus, rock-solid relation was established between the creatures and those humans and several generations down the line. The deformed births are simply a reminder of this event. Several instances from the book actually support this theory and we will create a longer in-depth video on the topic if you guys demand. To sum things up, the dragon blood in the Targaryen seems to act up every now and then and we witness the monstrous deformities in the stillborn babies. It happened even before the events of House of the Dragon and it happened during the events of Game of Thrones and it is simply a part of the Targaryen fate. However, there is also a more scientific take on the reason behind the complicated pregnancies and deformed babies. And the answer is simple. 
way too much of inbreeding. The family tree of the Targaryen dynasty is more twisted than anything, and so much of inbreeding across generations is bound to bring some serious instabilities. We have witnessed how easily the mental balance of some of the Targaryens can snap, and the physical deformities are extremely likely in such cases. Of course, that still doesn't explain a reptilian human baby. If you like the content, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe to us if you haven't already. Have a good one, and be safe. Thanks everyone 